from what I usually do. Today we're going to talk a little bit about my games collection and my history with video games because um, I get a lot of questions on like what other games do I play besides Animal Crossing so we'll talk a little bit about that today and um, let's uh, let's get started. Before I show you any of the games I will uh, just tell you a little bit about uh, what you're about to see. So I am uh, like uh, like an older gamer on YouTube. I just turned 44 so that makes me a Xennial, if you're doing like, if you're into like the whole generations thing. Um, and a Xennial is somewhat, it's like a little micro generation if you believe in this kinds of things. So a lot of people don't, but it's a micro generation uh, between the Generation X and Millennials. So we're sort of not Generation X, but we're not really Millennials. Anyway, we have a little bit from Gen X and a little bit from Millennials, but the main reason that I guess the Oregon Trail generation is so distinctive is because we had completely analog childhoods and sort of completely digital young adulthoods and adulthoods. So when I was a kid, there was no internet. <laughs> there was no like online, no one had an email address. Like when I was gonna go play with my friends, I had to call them on the phone that might've had a long cord um, and I might've used a rotary phone and I went out and we played in the yard and we, we I caught like so many bugs and it was, I'd never had to worry about like stuff I was doing online or like any of that stuff. And when I was a young adult, that's when we started getting email addresses and technology. Um, I was lucky because I always grew up with computers. My um, dad got us like an Apple IIc, like when that computer came out, if you guys are old enough to remember that one, but I've always had a Macintosh computer in my house um, since then, except in like a little period in the 90s when my dad was like really into PCs, like he was really into Dells, and then I was like, you know, when Apple kind of fell off a little bit. Which actually is why I use a Mac to stream and record all my game footage. I just don't like Windows. I just, I just, I made it happen. So that being said, um, I get a lot of comments from like younger people saying that like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're still playing video games in your 40s or whatever. But like, if you have to understand that when I was 10 and 11, uh, Nintendo came out with their Nintendo Entertainment System and like that was the thing that everybody wanted for Christmas. And I watched tons of hours of my cousin playing, um, I think it was like, what was it? World Runner, 3D World Runner. <laughs> I never played, but I always watched it. And I played Super Mario Brothers and uh, Kid Icarus and uh, Yoshi and Kirby and all those games. Um, and I took my NES with me to college when I went to college in 1995. So um, video games have always been a huge part of my, um, my, I guess, late childhood, early adulthood. And I did stop playing for like maybe three years in sort of my 20s. And then I was like, why am I not playing? <laughs> <laughs> and my parents got me a GameCube for Christmas one year. Um, I did have Nintendo 64. I, I somehow skipped over Super, Super Nintendo. I don't know how that happened, but I had Nintendo 64. I don't have it anymore. I sold it, which I'm really sad about, but um, I, I fell in love with Zelda games at that time. I did play the original Zelda, got really frustrated by it, but I did play the Ocarina of Time and I it's one of my favorite, favorite Zelda games. I was like in the tank for Zelda ever since then, but um, I, did grab my NES from my parents' house recently, and I do have it, the original NES from, I think when I got it, it was maybe 19, 19, 1985, 1985. Um, maybe not 85, 86, 86, oh. Anyway, I'll probably have to edit this down because I probably talk way too much. Um, but uh, if you want to see my Nintendo collection, keep watching, give this video a thumbs up, yay. So I have a shelf up here and it just has my original NES. I don't really think this works anymore, <laughs> if I'm to be 100% honest, but like the button's still press and it's very satisfying. Of course, I have my Zelda gold cartridge up there. I really, really love that. I also managed somehow to rescue my original Game Boy from my parents' house before they uh, sold their house. And it, I do think this still works. It just doesn't have a battery back. I just need this piece. I don't know. It's like forever gone. Um, but I, if you do stick a cartridge in there, I, st I still have a couple cartridges. It does work. 
I had so many hours playing Tetris on this thing in Super Mario World. Here's a drawer with all my like original Nintendo and DS stuff in. So I'm just gonna go from like the oldest console to newest console, I suppose. So here are all of my original Nintendo games. So as you can see, we've got the original Super Mario Brothers, Dr. Mario, which you guys, I'm really good at this game. I have to admit, if I wanna like toot my own horn, it's that I'm really good at Dr. Mario. And um, we've got the Adventure of Link. This game, this game sucks. <laughs> I know there are a lot of people that like love this game and it was kind of like the, the you know, a, a, really, a real step forward for these kinds of games, but like, really? Anyway, Super Mario Brothers 2, which I loved. I was really good at this game too. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Capade. This is a game in like, this is an adventure in frustration, you guys. Like, I don't know how many of you guys out there played this game, but this is a game where you play as Minnie and Mickey and it's super, it's just really frustrating. Um, super, super, fr I hate this game. I both hate and love this game. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we can't have this. We can't have this. Actually, this will be, all of these labels in here are facing the wrong way. Let's fix this. Okay, I feel better. I know you guys out there feel better too. All right, next, Bubble Bobble. Um, this game is amazing. I love Bubble Bobble, Bubble, Bubble Bobble, can't say the name, but Bubble Bobble is one of the most, like the most amazing two player original Nintendo games ever. I do think they remade this game recently. I don't know if it's good or not. I haven't gotten it. I heard it's not the same magic as Bubble Bobble, but like, y'all, Bubble Bobble's so good. <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins. I hate this game with a fiery hot passion. That's all you need to know. The Goonies 2. Um, I think, fun fact, there is no Goonies 1. I think the Goonies 2 was just a ref reference to like the movies and then like, hey, the game. Um, this is a good game though. I really love this game. I played this game a lot. I It was easy to win. You know, it took like maybe like three and a half hours you could get through, you could speed run it. And um, it was pretty fun. Kirby's Adventure, a classic. Um, Kirby games are pretty challenging actually. And no one talks about that. But um, I did win this game too. This is one of the few games I won. I think like games I won are like this one, this one, this one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. I stink. I guess we'll talk about Nintendo DS next. Since I have uh, Electroplankton. I have two copies of Electroplankton. One was purchased and one was given to me. Um, I've been meaning to sell one, but I haven't. I just haven't done that yet. If you are unfamiliar with Electroplankton, it was like a really fun, just relaxing kind of musical simulator. It's not a, really a game. Um, it's just. It's just not. You can see here I've got my original controllers and my Game Boy charger, I guess, down here. But the controllers and all the cables and stuff. So I can try to hook up my NES, but I don't know if that's going to be a good idea or not. We've got the DS here, and after that I film this video, I will film my New Leaf video, checking out my New Leaf town. I do have a number of uh, Nintendo DSs. I did buy this system maybe like five times. In my games collection, we've got, of course, Nintendo Electroplankton, not all of my games were are in the boxes. Um, Rune Factory and Rune Factory 3. I like Rune Factory games. They're kind of like um, Harvest Moon, but with dungeon crawling, if you are not familiar. And Rune Factory games are really fun. This one is all Pokemon games, it looks like. <laughs> I've got Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Soul Silver. I'll hold it up closer. <laughs> and this one is, we've got Pokemon Black and Platinum. Ooh, this box it has like cartridges free, free rolling in here. We've got Harvest Moon, Tale of Two Towns. I didn't really like this one that much. Um, we've got, oh, I've got Nintendogs. Who remembers Nintendogs? Did you guys play Nintendogs? I had a lot of fun before I had an actual dog to play Nintendogs, very fun. I'm gonna make sure my camera focuses on the box before I open it. This box, oh, Cooking Mama 2, fun. Harvest Moon, A New Beginning. Now this game, when we're talking about Harvest Moon games, this game I really enjoyed. I played so many hours of Harvest Moon 
new beginnings. A little bit cheaty. If a bunch of people are playing online, you can like get lots of money really quickly, but a very good Harvest Moon game. Harvest Moon is called Story of Seasons now, if you don't know, um, for weird localization reasons. We got The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, uh, an okay game, not as good as Phantom Hourglass, which I don't know where that is. I think I lent it to someone and they didn't give it back to me. Um, and then we've got Pokemon White 2 version. I mean, it's okay. Oh wow, I have original DS games that I forgot about. So this is sort of going backwards um, on consoles, but oh! <sighs> Guys, let's talk about Pokemon Ruby. This was the first Pokemon game that I ever purchased because I had extra money in my bank account and I wanted to know what the Pokemon hype was about. And so I went to pick this up for my DS and I was hooked. <laughs> okay, editing Kay here. I have to say, I keep calling Game Boy Advance games DS games because I was an early adopter of the original Nintendo DS. This bad boy uh, is broken now. You can't play it, but it did have, oh, that's so sad. It did have backwards compatibility with uh, the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. There's a game in here, you guys. Which game is it gonna be? You could play your Game Boy Advance games here and you could put your uh, DS games in here. So this was pretty cool. This was like the original Nintendo DS and it has, mine has Dog stickers on it. I don't know if you can see, wait, Dog stickers. Uh, but there's a game in here. Could this be the other? I feel like this is gonna be the other Yu-Gi-Oh game. I was right. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, like worldwide edition, whatever. Uh, got a lot of play out of this game. As you can see, I took a, one of those, the, took the sticker off of this because I bought it used from, from GameStop, but uh, yeah. So anyway, that's why I keep uh, calling Game Boy Advance games DS games. So I'm so sorry. I was like, oh, okay. I kind of get this whole Pokemon thing and I blame Pokemon Ruby for my Pokemon love. So um, Pokemon Ruby, this was the first Pokemon game. Still have it, love it. Look at this beautiful cartridge too, isn't it? That's super pretty. So going with the Pokemon theme, we've got Pokemon Sapphire version. Of course, wouldn't be complete without Pokemon Leaf Green. And of course, Pokemon Emerald. Look at these cartridges, they are so cool. I also have Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town, and more Friends of Mineral Town. Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town was my first Harvest Moon game that I ever purchased, and I read about the game before it came out. I was due to go on a long trip with my uh, on the Amtrak to see my parents, and I saved opening this game and firing it up on my DS until I got on the Amtrak train, and I played it for eight hours the whole way down. It's that addictive. <laughs> More Friends of Mineral Town is the same game, but you can play as a girl. Yeah. Kirby Nightmare Dreamland. I remember nothing about this game. I should fire it up and see what it's like. Eh, whatever. <gasps> Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I loved Yu-Gi-Oh in both real life is as in the card game, and I did enjoy the video game as well, which was basically a video game version of the card game. Um, if you don't know, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of like Pokemon, but it's different, <laughs> but it's like card games, but it's a, a strategic card game. I, I find that Yu-Gi-Oh, the rules and stuff tend to be very sophisticated, and we I had a lot of fights with my husband over the rules, whether or not it was legit for me to do something or not. Um, but a lot of fun collecting the cards. I spent a lot of money on, <laughs> on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but also had a lot of fun with the game. So this is the like one of the original um, Yu-Gi-Oh games. Yu-Gi-Oh, I can't even read it. The Eternal Duelist Soul. That's the name of that. I can barely read it. It's barely legible. And you can see I bought it used from um, Game game stonks. Ham Taro. Ham Ham Heartbreak. Is that what this one is? Yeah. Ham Taro. This is like a game for little kids. But it was strangely fun and adorable and just fun. I played this game as a full grown adult and I enjoyed it. It's adorable. Ham Ha. So that is all of like the mobile 
mobile games. I mean, I have digital games on my DS that I'm not going to show you, um, but we will talk about that in another video. This is my latest DS. It's pretty. All right, we're all up in the magical drawer of games. <sighs> oh, I think I have to move my tripod a little bit. Okay, these are all of the GameCube games that I have. Let's start, uh, let's start over here. I mean, who, of course, Super Smash Brothers Melee. This is actually one of my favorite Smashes, even still to this day, like better than Ultimate or whatever. I just, this was so much fun. A little fun trivia, my friend Derek and Tom and me, we have a long standing Smash Bros tournament that has scores, statistics, consequences if you lose, rewards if you win, and we play two minute, no, I'm sorry, three minute timed battle, melee battles, and whoever gets the most KOs wins the end of the night, okay? We don't do like losses or wins, we do KOs. Whoever gets to 100 first is the winner, and the winner gets to sit and do nothing over the next round. The second place person has to make cocktails and the third place person has to pick up the food and order the food. <laughs> it's dumb, but it's fun. And my main is Pikachu, thank you very much. Kirby's Air Ride, so fun. This was so fun. Um, I gotta bust this out again when I can have pump, when I have company <laughs> again, um, but it's very fun. Kind of like Mario Kart, but Kirby. Mario Party 6 and Mario Party 4. Okay, Mario Party 4, I guess, is pretty fun. Mario Party 6, uh, I don't know. Come on. Come on. Look, player's choice. Animal Crossing, population growing. The game that started my addiction. I got this game when I got laid off from my first job out of grad school. I was very sad but I had Animal Crossing to keep me company while I looked for jobs, and we love it. Look, Mitzi, Mitzi is on the cover. We love her, we love Mitzi. And she was my first ever villager that I ever talked to in Animal Crossing. Look, I didn't know Gaston was on the cover too. And Pinky, punchy, cute. Very, wait, 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 who's in the, is that Bill? That is Bill. I didn't know Bill was on the cover, he's so cute. Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. This is a really slow moving version of Harvest Moon, but like, for some reason, a really comforting game. Love the music from this game. This is, it's a great game, okay? And a, another Wonderful Life, which is just a, a girl version of this game. Nowadays, they wouldn't do this. They would just give you the choice. <laughs> but back in the day, they did not give you a choice. Um, and I have, Magical Melody, the first game in which they gave you a choice, I believe. Um, this was fun. I didn't like the first playthrough of this game that I did, that I did, but I played through a second time and I really, 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 really enjoyed it. It was very weird. Um, it was different from the past Harvest Moon games, but very fun. Um, actually, actually, they make a lot of these games really different from one another, which I appreciate. I, I appreciate that. Pokemon games. Um, Pokemon Box, which isn't really a game. It's just like an add-on to like, I guess store your Pokemon from your DS games because you could hook your DS up to your GameCube. Um, so this is kind of useless, but I don't know, keep it for just for co the collection's sake. Pokemon Coliseum, underrated, very fun, kind of a dark Pokemon game. Um, very fun, super fun. Not a very, not a traditional Pokemon game in the sense of like, you're going out and training, you wanna be the very best. It's kind of like more of like a rescue dark shadow Pokemon kind of situation, and it's really fun. Uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness was a sequel to this game, and I have not played it yet. I bought this on eBay a few years ago, but I played through this game maybe like a, couple, a few times. So I gotta get on this Gale of Darkness action. Chibi Robo, the original Chibi Robo. This is one of the strangest and most adorable games that I've ever played. It's, it's weird but it's adorable, look at him. Is, is that not the cutest little robot you've ever seen? Um, I don't think the subsequent games that came out after the fact were very good, um, which is a shame. 
I, I really wish they would come out with one for Switch. Look at him. Look at him! Original Pikmin 1 and 2. <laughs> this was the game my parents gave me when they gave me the GameCube uh, for Christmas. It came with this one. Well, it didn't come with it. It was recommended to them by the people at Game Strongs. Um, and then I got Pikmin 2 when Pikmin came out. Very fun. Pikmin 2 had the battle version of the game, which made for super fun uh, after Smash times when my friends there would get together. We'd play Smash, we'd play the Smash tournament, play to 100, and then we'd whip out this one to do the battle mode. Brutal. Brutal. Get your, you can't, you can't, you can't carry your own marble. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and like Master Quest, like collection. Um, another collection of like, it has four, let's see, this one has um, the original Zelda, um, Zelda 2, Oca Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. What, what is this one? Oh, this is just Ocarina of Time, and also the uh, Master Quest. So I have two like collections, one of them is, cancels the other. And then Wind Waker, a classic, a classic. Super Monkey Ball, so much fun. No one talks about this game. This was one of the most fun games ever with friends. I mean, of course, hello. Cooking Mama Cook Off. <laughs> I like my Cooking Mama games. This one wasn't my favorite, but it was pretty fun for Wii anyway. Super Mario's Brothers Wii is okay. I don't really love Mario games. Um, I, I just, I don't, um, I do like Super Mario Galaxy. I think it was really fun and innovative and then there's a second version of that game as well. Harvest Moon, Tree of Tranquility and Harvest Moon Animal Parade, both out for Wii, both Harvest Moon games. Very charming and cute. Played a lot of hours of both. Played a little more Animal Parade, I think, than Tree of Tranquility, but played, a, like burned a lot of hours of both of these games, very fun. Two Rune Factory games for Wii. The first one was, oh no, the first one is Rune Factory Frontier. I spent a lot of time playing this game, a lot of time, and I married Eunice, and I think I married Mist a couple, you know what, I married a bunch of the different bachelorettes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and Tides of Destiny, also a really fun Harv uh, Harvest Moon, no, Rune Factory game. Um, I did get to the end of this one. I got to the end of both of these games, um, well, the end of the story mode anyway. Um, I I can't wait for Rune Factory 5 to come out at this point where I'm, when I'm filming this video. It's uh, probably a, a couple months before it comes out, but I cannot wait. I love these games so much. Animal Crossing City Folk. You guys know how I feel about this. I love Animal Crossing um, and a lot of people grew up playing this game. I did not uh, and I, I don't like this game as much as I like New Leaf and the original Animal Crossing and of course New Horizons. This is like on the bottom tier for me but it was pretty, I mean it was pretty fun. <sighs> this game had so many loading screens. <laughs> but it was pretty fun. It's not like The Sims. Um, it's like an Animal Crossing version of The Sims, with, but it's very repetitive, um, but super cutesy. You can see the art's really cutesy. And uh, a lot of these little figures like, you can actually collect in the actual Sims 4 game on PC, but um, I don't know. I played through My Sims a few times. It was fun. Uh, just to be totally honest, I don't play Metroid games very much, but I would like to start. These were um, given to me and I just haven't gotten into them. The original Metroid uh, was very difficult on like the original NES, so, uh, but I'd like to get into Metroid because I do like the fact that the uh, main character is uh, just, a, just a bad chick. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess is one of my favorite games on the Nintendo system. It's one of the darkest Zelda games ever made and I love it so much. <laughs> it it had the greatest companion and it, it it had a very I don't I don't know I loved this game. I loved it. This one not so much. <laughs> I'm very excited for Skyward Sword to come out for the Switch this summer to give it another shot, but the motion controls for this game and the fact that it was very repetitive with the, it was very dungeon focused and the the tutorial in the beginning of the game was like an hour or something that killed this game for me. The The graphics are beautiful and I had fun playing through it. I didn't get all the way to the end. I think I got like 85%, um, but we'll see how I feel about it this summer. <laughs> but this did come out for the 25th anniversary, as you can see. So um, now we're on 
Oh my gosh, are we on, are we on 30? Oh my gosh, 35. <gasps> are we on 35? Are we on 35? so old these are kind of the losers back here we got we fit we fit plus de blob actually a good game uh punch out boom blocks little king story and elibits i only have a few games for the wii u that are like physical games because i bought most of my games digital on wii u so i have legend of zelda twilight princess hd <laughs> which is basically just the hd version of twilight princess um, with some fixes and some weird additions Stamps. Pikmin 3, which I now also have on Switch. So hooray for Nintendo to getting me to buy games over and over again. Thank you. Um, and you know, Smash. And I literally only have two cartridges for my Switch. And my, of course I have Zelda Breath of the Wild. This was the only physical game I chose to purchase because I was in line for a Switch and was like, please give me this game as well. So <laughs> it, Permanently lives on my Switch, I guess. And I received today Ring Fit Adventure. <laughs> so I will be trying this out later, um, but uh, this isn't even open. So I just received this like an hour ago. So it's not even open. So these are the, the only two physical cartridges I own for the Nintendo Switch. <gasps> oh my God, I almost forgot about Wii Sports. <laughs> Wii Sport, I love Wii, Wii Sports is basically a meme, right? Da -da 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 -da. Um, Wii Sports, lots of fun, loved the bowling, loved it. Okay, so there we have it. That is my like game collection, my physical game collection. Um, a lot of the games that I have for like the Wii U and stuff are digital. A lot of the stuff I have on DS is digital or 3DS is digital. So I didn't show you all those games, but everything I have, like that's a cartridge. I showed you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the little like reviews and like nostalgia. I thought it was kind of fun. Um, if you like videos like this, give it a big thumbs up and um, I will uh, see you next time. Happy gaming. Bye. Ta -da!